Good morning, everybody, on this Tuesday, September 10th. And I don't have to look at the date because today, because tomorrow is my anniversary, so I remember the date for the first time in a long time. My hair is a mess because I was trying on some things that I bought at Target last night. Um, I bought a new, like, uh, workout shirt, and I didn't try it on at the store, so I had already gotten dressed, and I took this off to, you know, try that shirt on, so I, my hair was... A mess anyway I also bought a pair of sweatpants um, and those fit as well I think I told you that last night though they were a little bit tighter than I would have hoped but they fit so it's fine um, anyway it is Tuesday morning it is a little bit after nine o'clock I am working already I've been working for a little bit over an hour I have to pack a couple more things before we we're ready to go tonight. I have I ate two protein bars for breakfast. Not a good thing, but a good thing. They tasted yummy, and I feel very full, which is good. Um, I might skip lunch because um, I think we're gonna get subs tonight on the way to the hotel to the bed and breakfast. So, and my. 24 or 30 hours of inhaling food begins tonight. So I am going to go get, like I said, we're going to get subs on the way to the place. This place supposedly has a whole bunch of like sweet treats and stuff. Um, uh, when you, when you check in, there's like a, a treats area and beverages. I'm going to be drinking uh, champagne tonight, um, which is a sweet champagne. Um, yeah. John's supposed to be getting the peanut butter pie. So I might take a piece of the peanut butter pie with me tonight as well to be eaten after I eat my, um, sub. Anyway, <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to go through my head and think of everything else I need to pack still. I need to pack my toothbrush because my toothbrush is charging. I, I have a rechargeable Oral-B toothbrush and it was getting a little bit um, slow last night. So I put it on the charger last night. So I have to pack that. John's toothbrush is already packed. Toothpaste, all the toiletries and stuff is already packed. Um, I need to pack up some makeup because I'm not sure if we're going to go out to eat tonight. So I'm not going to pack like a ton. I'm going to pack like a faces, a, a face worth of makeup, if that makes sense. So just like, you know, a foundation, an eyeshadow palette, a lipstick. Um, yeah, just one face worth of makeup in case we go out tonight. Um, cause I'm also going to pack a dress, but we might end up not going out to dinner until tomorrow night because tonight, by the time we get to the hotel, my appointment's over at 5. I will be back here by about 5.15, 5.20-ish. Uh, and then I'll, I'll grab John. By the time we stop and get the subs and get to the hotel, it's going to be probably almost 6.30. So, oh, why would we go to dinner tonight? I've got the subs, so I don't need makeup. Unless I just want to wear makeup tomorrow during the day. I might do that. Maybe I'll just wear makeup tomorrow during the day. I don't know. We're going to be home by like lunchtime anyway tomorrow. So maybe I won't pack any makeup. Maybe I'm good there. I'm probably good there. So anyway, I've got some clothes washing. The last bit of clothes that I needed to wash before, um, before I'm ready to go. They're in the dryer actually. And then I just throw, threw a load of towels in as well. Exciting stuff here. Yeah, I threw towels in, in the washing machine as well. Just to, they were the, the they, we washed the dogs a couple nights ago and they were the dog's towels, so I washed those. So, exciting, exciting stuff. Like I said, I'm working. It seems like there's always an urgent request for information. That was this morning. I had an urgent request for information this morning. So, there's that. Anyway, I have to uh, try to give my employee a call. It's 9.15. She's not online yet which isn't terrible, but I need to give her a call because I need to tell her that she's to go for a drug test in two hours, so. Yeah, I need to do that now. So I'm gonna put the camera down. The next time I talk to you, might be when I'm on my way to my uh, appointment. I'm not sure, we'll see. 
I will definitely be checking in though. And then when we get to the um when we get to the uh the hotel, I will show you what the room looks like. Bye. All right, y'all, I am heading to my therapy appointment. I was hoping that I'd be able to see John before I left, but that sucker, he stopped at Rite Aid. Pretty sure he's getting me a card. So, there's that. I did not get him a card because, well, I forgot to. <laughs> I was even at Target last night and I forgot to. So, yeah. Anywho, uh, I am heading to my counselor's appointment. Uh, my day at work kind of stank. Um, I made a huge mess in my freezer. Um, I had put a drink in the freezer to get cold and I set my alarm for 15 minutes. My alarm went off and I was like, oh, I gotta go get my drink. I did not remember to get my drink until 1130. It had exploded. Actually, I will put pictures in here. And it took me a half an hour to clean that mess up. It was, it was a mess. It was an absolute mess. So that stank. Um, work stank. I am just hoping the rest of the evening into tomorrow is fantastic because I know that once I get back to work on Thursday, it's gonna stink. So I'm hoping, like this, this bed and breakfast looks really, really pretty. It looks really promising as a nice relaxing, like it's on a horse farm. Um, yeah, we'll see. And John is supposed to be getting a peanut butter pie tonight as well. So I don't know if, if he was able to get that or not. I have no idea. Um, if so, like I said, I'm gonna bring a piece with me to the B&B &B, um, and I'll eat it after I eat my subs. Yeah. I feel rushed. I always feel rushed when I'm going to the therapy appointment. I should probably just not have my appointment from four to five. Um, yeah, I should probably not do that. And I have a crick in my neck. I don't think I told you guys that this morning. I woke up with a crick in my neck over here, which really kind of stinks. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down. I know I've only been talking for a couple of minutes, but I am really focused on trying to get to my appointment and I don't want to risk an accident or anything like that. And I really don't have much to talk about, to be honest with you, at this moment. Um, I did already tell John that I was kidnapping him. I told him this morning. Um, so he already knows we're going away. I didn't tell him where we're going or what we're doing or anything like that. I just told him that I was kidnapping him tonight and that I, I packed him a set of clothes and his toothbrush and does he need anything else? <laughs> So, we shall see. I, I do have to remind him to get his blood pressure medicine because he didn't, I don't know what his, like, I don't know what he takes or, I mean, I know what he takes, but I don't know how many of what pill, when. I think he takes one of each of his pills and I think he has three pills, but it might only be two. I'm not 100% certain. I think it's three. Um, I think it's three. So, but I don't know for certain, which is why I want him to get his own pills. So anyway, I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna get to my appointment and I will see you all later on today. Bye. All right, you guys, we made it to the bed and breakfast. I didn't realize this, but look, John and I match. Yes. We're literally the same red. Yes. Anyway, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you as we walk up to the bed and breakfast what it looks like, cause it's really pretty. So this is actually a horse farm. It's called the Inn at Westwind Farm, right? Something like that. That's the name. So, there's like a building over there, the main building, and there's a little cottage over here. That I think you can rent that cottage. I'm not sure what's over there, but we are at the back of this building. I think we did. Uh, so. Usually they have housekeepers, you know what I mean? Yeah. So look, you'd want to give them so it's super pretty I mean let's let's look around the side here real quick there's a nice 
swing. There is a uh, room in here. We'll go in there then. There's a nice wooden swing. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I heard that. There's a nice <coughs> side porch and a little waterfall and pond. There is something down there. I know that I saw from the pictures online that there's something down there we can go see. What? There's a, like a fire, an outdoor fireplace that down there. Oh, I know. So, but then there's like the horse pastures over there. There's not a lot of people here tonight. Well, <laughs> I mean, Wednesday, it, is, it is Tuesday night. Or Tuesday, sorry. Yeah. So, <clears throat> we're going to go inside here. We'll show you the the inside. I'm going to turn the camera off probably here in a minute and then we'll show you everything else. But you come inside. Oops. There is a room over here. That's actually a bedroom. There's a whole table full of goodies and our room is back there, but I'll show you that in a minute. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna show you the room real quick. So this is the door. We just came in through the door. I'm gonna turn the camera around. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like. It's not normally blurry, but there's a bed, there's a little balcony over there I'll show you. I don't know why it's so blurry though. There we go, it was on manual focus. There is a big bathtub there. There's a walk-in. I think there's a light here somewhere. Nope, that's the fan in the bathroom. There is a light, it's up above you. There it is. So that's a big, huge, big, huge closet. There is a two-person bathtub, jacuzzi tub, which is pretty cool. A standard old bathroom. Stand-up shower over there. A nice little window. The bed. They put, we got the anniversary package, so they put little fake flower petals all over the bed and the floor. Over here, we have a bouquet of roses for our package. Some strawberry covered, um, oh yeah, strawberry covered chocolate. Chocolate covered strawberries. A cake says happy anniversary. A glass or a bottle of very dry champagne. Uh, John took my glass because I was only drinking it very, very slowly. There is a gas fireplace over there, which we're going to turn off because it's getting really warm in here. King size bed. Ceiling fan. We might have to turn that up. There's a TV over here in a corner. And then a nice big chair in the corner too. Then there is a balcony over here. And it's got two chairs and a little table. And this is it. This is our view. This is a horse farm. And they have this little B&B here. So, one of the nice things, we sign up for breakfast at 9 a.m. They do breakfast from, I think it said 7 to 9.30, or maybe it was 6.30 to 9.30. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera so much. Um, we signed up for 9 a.m. No one else has signed up for 9 a.m. So we're gonna have breakfast all by ourselves, I think. I think checkout's 11. I don't know, there wasn't anybody here to check us in. So, but I already knew that, they said that. Um, they, they had told me that yesterday when I made the reservation, so I just turned the fireplace off because it's starting to smell like something's on fire. So how's this bed? Is it comfy? Um, it's two beds. Uh, yeah, well that's the old, that's the old style king size. If you remember correctly, there's two, underneath here there's two single. There are two single beds. No, it's not two single. Yes there is, it's two single beds. I'm telling you, it's two single beds. No, there's a, there's <clears> a, <throat> the box spring is two, two box, there are two box springs underneath here, okay? I'm telling you, there's two, it's two single but beds. But there's actually, this, this whole mattress is a king mattress. I don't think so. Some of the rooms, some of the rooms said it could make two beds. That's why I'm saying this, this has two single beds. I don't know, we'll figure it out. All right. We already ate, well, John ate his whole sub. I ate a half a sub. I didn't realize or remember how filling subs are. So I had half of my sub. Um, there's the light. I had half my sub. John ate his whole sub. I said, well, it's only, what, 7 o'clock? What time is it? 6.55. So, yeah, it's 7 o'clock. So we might, I might eat it later. 
we'll see. All right, we're gonna eat. I already had a strawberry, John had a strawberry, and then they had a whole bunch of desserts and stuff downstairs. I picked up the little chocolate blobum is chocolate covered raisins. I already had one and I was hoping this one was nuts, but it's not, it's chocolate covered raisins. And then pineapple upside down cake, which my grandmother always made chocolate upside down cake for me. Pineapple. Pineapple upside down cake. What did I say, chocolate upside down cake? Pineapple upside down cake. You guys know what I was talking about. You saw the cake. Um, my Nim always made pineapple upside down cake. So when I saw that on the table downstairs, I said I have to, I have to get that, so. And because we're near Hershey, Pennsylvania, they've got a bunch of candies and then they actually have two full size special dark because they know my husband is a special dark kind of guy no. and a milk chocolate. And they have a refrigerator in the basement that has like beverages and stuff. They have, they have beer. They had a bottle of white wine, a really big bottle of white wine. They had Yingling and then they had a bunch of waters, which was fantastic. We grabbed several bottles of water and then they had sodas and st sodas. Is it? Yeah, they had uh, Pepsi products. And then they also had like microwave popcorn and a microwave down there that you could microwave popcorn. So that was pretty cool. Anyway, this place is like a maze. Everywhere you turn, there's like another little thing Look. to go into. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna eat my pineapple side upside down cake and we'll see you guys later.